Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, good evening, whichever part of this planet you're residing in. Welcome to my channel. I am Nelson, you're watching Nature Now. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss great content like this one and the previous one, which is a wonderful giveaway. And if you guys haven't seen that video yet, please go back and uh, check it out. You may be able to win a really cool greenhouse by quick tents now i did put um their website but i just received an email uh giving me the accurate link so i will put the link here on the bottom for you guys who've already entered the giveaway um this is the link to their website <sighs> he keeps pushing me <laughs> i'm sorry i have to if not he won't let me <laughs> he's really taking a liking to this a whole youtube you are a big ham <laughs> <laughs> it's now it's all the time <laughs> anyways I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let him take our time <laughs> I just had to do it because if not he'll keep pushing me um, uh, this link will actually uh, take you directly to the website if you guys are interested in purchasing something uh, a tent from quick tents you can use my discount code nature Nell all together uh, and it'll give you an extra 8% on your purchase now I will be showing you what I did with uh, our quick tent greenhouse. It's looking so awesome. I'm so happy with this uh, greenhouse. It is perfect for what I needed and it's in a perfect space. I'm actually considering maybe in the future getting another one and putting it side by side because I may start seedlings from uh, Hoyas and maybe some orchids and selling them in the future. Now, please don't start leaving comments that you want me to send you uh, seedlings or you want to buy this is this is only a thought so when I'm ready for that I will let you know when you see the second greenhouse and you know <laughs> that's gonna be it all right guys so I'm gonna show you what's in bloom I won't take too much of your time so we have more time to see the blooms and what I've done inside the greenhouse so without further ado let's go look at some blooms and an awesome greenhouse let's go <laughs> I'm taking Mars with me <laughs> All right, my friends, I normally start here in what's in bloom, but guess what? I'm gonna take you straight to the quick tent because I'm sure you guys are excited to see what I've done inside. <laughs> and it's only the beginning. This is just the beginning of it. You know, it's ever changing. So this is the, the beginnings of a beautiful, beautiful uh, arrangement that I have so many ideas. So for you guys that haven't seen it yet, this is a quick tent greenhouse. This greenhouse is a 10 by nine by eight. It's 10 feet long, nine feet tall, and eight feet wide. It's a perfect size. It has screen windows that you can roll down and create a solid greenhouse. See, it has, on both sides it has a door and it does have the screen. But as you can see, there's some goodies inside. I'm starting to gravitate more towards my Philanopsis, even though I will have other things. And this is how easy it opens. Super, super, super easy. And yes, it has an, uh, a roll down door, making it solid as well for cold weather, which would be a big plus. So here it is, guys. I got some cinder blocks, my favorite way of creating shelves. And I added them here and the fact that it has sand, it was perfect. It holds it really well, nothing shakes. I added these little, oh, we have company. I added these little benches here. So that way, if I wanna just sit down here, this is my view. As you can see, Morris loves it, but I have to keep an eye because he sees the sand and I don't want him to think it's a litter box. <laughs> So I have to keep an eye on him just in case he hasn't done anything like that. But but I wanted to show you, look at how my fowls are doing now. I know I've spoken a lot about them. Like I um, I was telling you guys, I use bag moths now and they're doing wonderfully. But check out the leaves on this beauty. Is this not a massive? Oops, sorry. 
it's so big it's toppling over and i never cut this the spike and it's giving me two more flowers so i guess this is going to be their sweet spot and then in the center since i do have this pole i put some of these um hanging plants my uh oncidium the beautiful oh i always forget how to say this let me see where the tag is there we go who per oh, i'm having tag problems today who persia hang hong i got this from smiley and it's a beautiful beautiful fern well i don't know if it's considered a fern i think it is i'm not sure and his name is marley this is my my plant named after the legendary an incredible activist, Bob Marley. One of my favorite people in the planet or who, was, who lived on the planet. But his, his spirit will live on in many, many, many of our hearts. So here I put Lazaro's gift, the gift that keeps on giving. And this is the Florida rainbow. It just drops flowers and keeps giving more. So if you guys have Philanopsis, don't cut the, the shoots until they turn brown because they may give you um, more flowers. There's a name, it's known as a Florida rainbow. I got this, well, Laz got this at Crawl Smith for me. The last time we were there, it was my birthday. So he, he usually gives me a, an orchid for my birthday. And right next to it, it's this beautiful, Psychopsis. I think some of, some people call it mariposa because it has sort of that butterfly. Mariposa means butterfly in Spanish. Um, it's funny because this one, <laughs> the the petals were actually out, but I guess it's I don't know. I guess that's just what it decided to do this time. <laughs> its arms are in the back, and I brought in my. I think it's called a chocolate antler dendrobium. Josh and another viewer i can't remember but i think i have her i'll put the i'll put a uh caption of of the viewer and josh sending me the information on this so it's chocolate antlers which it makes so much sense because i mean of the obvious let me see if i can because i know that when there's a screen in the background this phone wants to focus on the screen <laughs> it's so odd but look at this, how beautiful. And this was my most recent purchase at Ophi's um, Orchid Festival that was held last weekend. And it's so pretty. And I paid $50 for this, which I thought was a great, great deal. So I hope you guys like how it's turning out. And let me get back here. Let's see if I can get a better wide angle view. So let me know what you guys think. And you know, I'm a tall guy and I can stand up perfectly inside. It really is very spacious. Come on, Morris, let's go. You can't stay in there because <laughs> I know I'm afraid he'll use that, that sand. You know, cats, it's their second, it's their nature to, you know, go wherever there's like sand or soil. <laughs> All right, I hope he doesn't. Well, I'll clean it up. All right, let's start looking at some blooms. Well, at least on this side. So yes, my dendrobiums this year are on fire. They are giving me so many flowers. And this is the, uh, try again. <laughs> All these focus, you know, I've spoken to um, a couple of my friends that have YouTube channels and they also have this iPhone 13 and they say exactly the same thing. They're like, oh my God. It is the worst on focusing. It just doesn't know where to focus. Even if you have the subject matter right up and close, it tries to find the background. I don't know who created this, but no bueno. Ah, here, this is a good. So this dendrobium, I always forget the name. I don't know why, it's, a, it's like a woman's name. Um, Lori, Mortimer, Lori Mortimer, that's the name. Lori Mortimer dendrobium. Now, some people call it rabbit pink, which kind of, kind of, I can see that. 
but I kind of like Lori Mortimer, Mortimer better. It just sounds more fancy. <laughs> So this one is constantly giving me spikes. I mean, it's always in bloom and it has all these canes. They do get very lanky, but as you can see, all these have been spikes that it's been giving me. And then right above it, I have, oh, I can't remember the name of this one either. I found this on, on online, hold on. Sorry guys, it's kind of difficult when they're this high up. And this one is also the name, a female name, uh, Beth White or something like that. I'll put it underneath. I did, I did write it down. And I promise you guys, I'm gonna get the, the label maker possibly this month. I made a conscious decision. It is time to get it and stop procrastinating and putting other things as priority because I really wanna tag all my orchids properly. As you can see, everything is wet. There was a storm this morning so I did not have to water anything, thank God. Oh man, it's hard to film all the way up there. This is still going strong, guys. This is from Moats. It's one of my favorite uh, orchids that I've gotten from them. It always gives it here. Lighting is a little tricky because it is very gray out today, but everything looks fresh due to the rain and this one see these are the tags I'm gonna get Hold on. you see I call them belt tags these things will never get lost they are the best all my moats orchids that have these tags the tags have never moved so guys if you're gonna get tags this is the way to go you see and it's printed and on the back what I like is that it has the information on the back so if you ever have to give someone the information it's right there in, in, the, in the back of the tag so there's a JVB cross with a Kalawadi fragrance or fragrance and it's giving me several spikes at first when I got it it wouldn't it wouldn't bloom at all I was like this this is a dud I had it for almost three years but um, now it blooms twice a year which I'm very appreciative of that Let's go to the wall. Now this, my little pride and joy, is a Philonopsis lindinii. I don't think I have the tag because this was actually, oh, I do. Hold on, I do. Here we go. See what I mean about the focus? <laughs> oh my God, and it's so hard to do this with two hands. There we go. Foul lindinii. <sighs> pressure of a phone so this one is not the original plant the original plant I got it at an orchid show a Valentine show in Fort Lauderdale I can't remember the vendor but I bought this and I bought the Shiliriana the Philonopsis Shiliriana that did bloom for me uh, last year and this was a cakey that that um, orchid shot in her spike and so I had two, but for some reason, the original one just rotted away. I don't know what happened because I kept, I keep them like this on a, on mounts and you know, for it to get root rot on a mount is almost impossible because it's very airy. And I do keep a little bit of moss on it just to maintain some of the, the moisture, but this is a mini, as you can see, very tiny. Sorry for my dirty nails. I've been working out here since early and uh, I didn't have my gloves on. Shame on me. <laughs> And this little tiny flower comes packed with an amazing fragrance. It smells sort of like a um, soap, like a clean scented soap. It's really, really unique in its fragrance. And I just love the shape of its petals. Look at that. And of course the leaves are beautiful. And for you guys who are just tuning in for the first time, my leaves are very healthy. It's just, look, I'll show you. We have a lot of, oops, don't fall on me. We have a lot of calcium. So when we water our, our plants, calcium sits on top. But if you wipe them down, they'll come back to, to a beautiful, like this one. See, so look, watch. I mean, it's like night and day. 
And since they're wet now, I can do it. <laughs> so you see, the leaves are super healthy, super clean. It's just, unfortunately, our calcium is very strong here. So it's something we have to live with. And, I, and I, we do have a filter, believe it or not. That's with a filter. <laughs> Do you imagine without? <laughs> so right here is another fowl. This one is Phelanopsis Deliciosa. I got this at Brethren's. One of my favorite people, Liz and Philip. Liz and Phil are awesome people. They are always so happy. You know, when I see them, they just, they're just joyful people. And I love getting minis from them because they do have some special types of minis, especially <clears throat> Cuban, uh, native Cuban orchids, which as some of you may know, I'm trying to collect as many Cuban orchids as possible because I am Cuban myself. And I just thought it would be cool to own like a whole section of Cuban orchids. And so this one, when I got it, it was really tiny. It was only two leaves. I added it to this um, fern mount, fern root mount, and she shot up several leaves plus two beautiful shoots with a cluster of beautiful flowers. Now I did, I, I, I love this flower very much, but I wish it was fragrant. It is not, it looks like it would be very fragrant, but it's not, but still beautiful. Nonetheless, we won't discriminate <laughs> right above it. And I'm kind of going fast because there is a lot to show and I don't want it to be too, too long because I'm trying to make my what's in blooms um, less than 30 minutes. And when they're too long, I have to split them in half. This is the new reclassified Philanopsis Pulcherima pink. They used to be called um, Doritis, but uh, the Doritis was taken out and now it's back to Philanopsis. And I agree. Look at the, look at the leaves. The leaves are very foul looking and it's shooting another beautiful spike, which I noticed the other day I got super excited because this is the first time it gives me two. And these flowers, guys, they last forever. Once it shoots, it does take a long time for it to um, develop, but once it does, it's there for a while and it'll keep giving you more and more flowers as the back ones uh, dry out. So one of my favorite, I have the pink, I have the white and I have the red. So the pink is blooming <clears throat> and the red is also blooming, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, the white is not, <laughs> but it's, it was, it wasn't doing good. It was dying like these, these were kind of a little bit rocky. And once I put them again on these beautiful mounts from the orchid supply store, which if you guys are interested in some mounts, they have some of the most amazing wood mounts. I will put the information under here. Um, and if you use my code nature, Nell, you'll get an extra, I believe it's 12% discount. And um, every, like I said, every little helps. Shipping nowadays has gotten so expensive. Uh, oh, there, there's my, oh no, that's not it, I'm sorry. I'm having an ADD moment, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me go back to, to balance. <laughs> so um, if you want these, these uh, to start putting your orchids on mounts and you have the space for it, I gotta tell you, it changes the life of your orchid. Everything blooms quickly, and I'm going to show you what I mean in, a, in just a few minutes on how effective it is to, to mount your orchids on, on wood. Now, this one is untagged because I bought it untagged, and it's a very unique uh, philanopsis. First of all, it smells delicious. I think this is the one that smells like, yeah, this one smells like Fruit Loops. It smells just like, like a box of Fruit Loops when you open it. But the interesting thing is, see, it gives one solid purple and then it gives a purple and a yellow. And it's the same plant because at first I thought they were mixed. Joshua Jones from the from the orchid uh, den was here with me. He's like, yeah, I think it's two. But then on this one, on this on this uh, shoot, it gave, sorry guys, I don't know um, how to edit that in. For some reason, my, my camera just froze. I'm not having a very good day with this camera. <laughs> camera today and i don't know because it's it's not as hot today it's very humid but it's not that hot so anyways uh this foul uh josh was telling me he thought it was two of them but honestly it's one and it gives two different kinds now 
I was told that the tetap, tetrapsis, the Philonopsis tetrapsis, they do give a different types of patterns, but no, this is not a tetrapsis. This is, this is something else. So if you guys know out there, nobody has been able to identify that one, which is pretty interesting because that makes it probably very rare <laughs> because if nobody knows what it is. Now, this I got at Soror. I don't think I have a tag for this. Yeah, I, I lost the tag because this was in a little one of those little plastic. Um, and I think this is a lime sherbet with a lime star. I do have this and I, I keep a log, by the way. I'm not that disorganized. <laughs> I do keep a log of all my things and I just have to go back and look for it. Because here, when we have these storms, there's so much wind here that the, the tags do fly. And I've tried, ta I tried tying, I've tried everything. So my last resort right now, it's that belt tag, which I know for a fact it won't, it won't uh, get lost. Uh, and, but this is a beautiful flower. This is one of those that after I put it on that wood mount, it just, it's giving me so many. Look, one, two, three, four. Four shoots in less, in, in less than I would say eight months that it's been there. And look at the roots, how well they grow. I don't know what's what's up with these with these wood uh, wood mounts. It's just they love it. Immediately they start growing. Now, my sherry baby is still doing strong. I don't know why. Um, even though I put a a stake, it just doesn't hold. This has happened to me before with other. This one, it happened too, and, and you know, it just dried out. So I don't know why it's causing that. I'm about to put it on a mount and just let it hang. I think that's how they do best. But unfortunately, it, um, it broke half of it. But I still have these beauties that smell delicious like chocolate. It's, it is one of my favorite fragrant uh, orchids. Now, let's go in here. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, the fragrance in here is amazing. <laughs> I love coming in here. Let's just make a quick right. This is my favorite. Some of you have asked me what are my favorite uh, orchids. This is probably one of my top favorites um, because of the way it smells. And it, it's a very different color from all the other orchids I have. It has a vintage look to it. And this one, I figured out finally what it smells like. Because I keep saying it smells like grape, but then it smells like buttercream. Well, my partner, Louis, he drinks protein shakes. And he has a protein shake that's vanilla. And when he opened it the other day, I'm like, I know that fragrance. That is what the Ben's fragrance smells like. It smells like vanilla shake. At least this one does. Oh my God. And it is so strong. It is so, so, so strong that as soon as you walk in, it, it salutes you with its beautiful fragrance. Let me see if I have a tag, so that way I don't have to do it on editing. <laughs> ben fragrance. <sighs> Ooh, this humidity is setting in. When I close this channel, my shirt's gonna look like I jumped in a pool. <laughs> All right. This is a trichocentrum. Now this I got from a good friend of mine. Uh, she moved out and she couldn't take her orchids with her. So she gave me three or four trichocentrums that she had. They didn't have any tags, uh, unfortunately, but oh my God, the colors on this and the, and the actual pattern is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And I love that it has this little tiny splash of pink in the center, giving it this unique, combination of tones where you see these spotted i'm sorry for the focusing guys i know i'm always apologizing for that but it must be frustrating for you guys too not to see the detail there we go and you know what i say about freckles so this one too i put this one i put it on a cork mount and this was not doing good at all as you can see these were the, the original leaves and it was just not doing good. And as soon as I put it here, it gave me a brand new um, shoot, uh, growth. And from that growth, I got this beautiful shoot with flowers. Now over to Philonopsis Palsharima Red. Here's the other beauty that I was talking about. 
And every time I try to <laughs> focus on it, this one's a hard one to focus because they're really tiny. I mean, look at that. And this one will last forever. And if it wasn't enough to give me this, look up here. This just gave me another little, I call them sub shoots because they come out from the original shoot. Let me see if I can focus on it. Nope, it does <laughs> not even with my hand. Oh, Apple, what are you guys doing? So much money for these phones. <laughs> you can't get the focus to work properly. Oh, so anyways, it gave me this new shoot or sub shoot and it's the first time it does. Oh boy, what a challenging day. <laughs> <laughs> this phone is just all over the place. It keeps it keeps freezing. I don't know what's going on. Um, and there's a new phone. There's only like how I, I got this in got it this year, but I can't remember like three, four, five months ago. Anyway, um, I put this on another one of uh, the Orchid Supply store mounts. It looked like a boot. This um, this actual wood piece. And as soon as I put her in there, she gave me this amazing spike. And I'm telling you, mounting is the way to go if you can do it. And you know what? Some of you say, no, because I don't have the space. Do you need a lot of space for this? I mean, this is like, <laughs> you can hang this in your apartment. You know, it doesn't really take that much space. And here, let me, this is incorrect because it's no longer Doritus. It got reclassified, but Paul Sharima read. So I just put Philanopsis in front of that. And that's exactly what this is now. But look at this, this is all new since I put it on this mount. She is definitely a beauty. And it makes it so relaxing when you know that your orchids are happy in their, um, in their environment because it takes away some of that stress of, you know, am I doing something right? Am I doing something wrong? I know for a fact that when I put my orchids on mounts, 99% of the times they do amazing. I have had one here, one there that don't really like it too much, but by the most part, I think they're all very happy. Now I've been dying to show you guys this. This is another beauty from Brethren or Brethren's Orchids. Um, all my Brethren, uh, most of my Brethren Orchids are blooming this season, which is awesome. And this is called a yellow bird. Now the fragrance on this is only at night and it smells very, very, very similar to the Queen of the Night Jungle Cactus. It has that same exact strong fragrance. And if you're here at night, you're gonna smell it from away. You don't even have to get up close to it. It releases this fragrance out in the air and it's very strong and pungent in a good way. Here, give you the tag. And the Brasavala Nodosa, um, I think it's what gives it that amazing fragrance because it does smell a lot like a Brasavala Nodosa. If you guys are, are familiar with that. It looks similar to this, but all white. Think of this, but all white. And I love this little yellow, uh, these little yellow flowers because they start off as a different color, like an orangey reddish. When they first start, I'm like, this is not what I got. <laughs> and then when it opens, a couple of days it turns into this beautiful bright yellow and this little pot that it's in comes from my friend josh joshua at the orchid den it's his new colors which i really like um and i'm trying to collect you know i love collecting all these little dishes because they create such a nice environment for the for the orchids and they look really good in your um in your space now this i've covered it before it's still blooming some of them are starting to go when they start to go the this the shoot starts turning yellow and then the flower dies off it gave me five flowers but only three are standing this is the miltonia um spectabile spectabile varied moreliana i remembered because i don't have a tag for this this was a split from my good friend in tampa jeff he brought his and I split it. This is my half and he has his half. And he got six flowers this year. I got like five flowers. It smells very good, it smells fragrant. It's one of the few Miltonias that could withstand heavy heats 
like here in Miami, Florida, Miltonias don't do very good because they, <clears throat> the heat is just way too much. So I wanted to explain, this was an Oncidium that was just dying, like really dying. And I said, you know what, before it gets any further, let me get one of the, the wood mounts from the orchid supply store. And let me go ahead and just put it here as a last resort and see what happens. Well, this happened. It never bloomed for me. It would shoot a little, a little shoot like this and it would stay short and the flowers would be like gnarly and weird. I thought it had like a disease, but now that I put it here, all the leaves have perked up and it gave me two new shoots. Let me see if I have another shoot here. This is the, the baby one. No, there's no shoot. See, this one did give me a shoot, but look at that. It just stayed there. <laughs> Where these, these are growing beautifully and healthy. So when I tell you that the mounts is a good idea, trust me, it's a really good idea. I don't know why. And Oncidiums and Encyclias love to be mounted. This one's on its way to start blooming. I'm just, I just want to show you another beautiful pot from the Orchid Den. And this is the Marguerite, the one that has the little flower. So when this, this, um, this from the Orchid Fix, when this blooms, it's amazing so i can't wait to show you that and it smells really good too right to our left you know now that i'm showing you i didn't realize how, <laughs> how many things were blooming oh, okay it might be a little bit longer video than i expected um this beautiful cluster of compact uh vanda is from crawl smith and this is it has that long name the bangkok sunset hold on let me see Vasco Pine River crossed with Bangkok sunset yellow. And this is like the third time it blooms for me. I love this little, these little flowers are so colorful. And they do have ooh, a delicious smell. I'm surprised they have fragrance because it did rain. And usually when it rains, they don't have fragrance. But no, there's a lot of fragrance today. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's what you guys want in your orchids. You want them, when they bloom, for the flowers to look balanced, healthy, um, crystal. I, I, I always say that, I always tell people, I want it to look HD, <laughs> like high definition. Uh, you want the flowers to, the colors to really pop and look, because that means that they're healthy, they're feeding, the, they're getting the proper amount of feeding. Now I did stop a little bit of my feedings. I think I needed to give my plants a break so i haven't been feeding in the past few weeks the last time i fed i think was two weeks ago so i'm gonna i'm gonna stop for like another two weeks and then restart it's almost like a little shocker because like everything they kind of get used to it oh, i don't know if i'm going to be able to get this let me see there we go now this another one i lost the tag my god this ta the tag on this one kept on flying and flying <laughs> i said one day it's gonna get lost it's a trichoglottis matrata. I believe that's correct. And this one was filled with buds. I had this on a tree. I was anticipating to show you guys this because it was going to be a showpiece. And the squirrels ate them. They ate all the buds and only left one flower. So she now lives in the greenhouse. And these great hangers that I get from Ophi. Oops. That I get from Ophi's. I just dropped an encyclia. Thank God she's okay. I'll get her now. She fell. She fell sitting. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it gets a little bit gets a little bit tight in here sometimes. So, anyways, um, I put her in there. I'm sorry that I can't go back there because everything, as you can see, everything has overgrown with the rains. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving the way everything looks, but um, I do need to be rearranging a little bit. It's a never ending decoration in here now this was a gift from my buddy c over at sierra madre and this didn't have a tag i did name her myself but i can't remember the name now spotted uh spotted sunrise or something like <laughs> but anyways i just loved the spots on this and he saw that i kept on looking at it and he and right before i left he goes here it's yours <laughs> And I go, really? He goes, yeah, you can have it. We want to gift this to you. So thank you, C. Look at how well she's blooming. This is the first time she blooms since I got her. I mean, she came blooming, but then when the when the uh, shoot died, and this is the first shoot that I get 
um, while it's residing here in the greenhouse. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful Vanda. Has this burgundy spotted with a mauve background. So, so pretty. Again, thank you, C. I really appreciate it. When I get gifts, I try to take care of them extra because <laughs> I, I, I wanna, you know, it's so special to me that if I lose them, it hurts. It really does. Now this one, as you can see, which funny enough, it's another gift from C. <laughs> you see, <laughs> it's a mix of, of a gift and one that I bought. Now this one has a huge name. It's an Oncidian mixed with Tulumnia, so I'm not even going to try. Here. It's just a long name. And what I love about this one, number one, it's extremely generous. It's always shooting spikes. I mean, these spikes have been out for quite a while and now I have all these new spikes. I have like five new spikes coming out. And what I love about this, it starts off really yellow and it transitions to this white color. And when you look at it, it kind of looks like popcorn. <laughs> Laz was the one that christened it popcorn, so I call it my popcorn oncidium. And again, I have it in another one of these thimble hanging pots from the Orchid Den. If you guys want to see these pots, he's, he's got some beautiful stuff. Check him out on Instagram, the Orchid Den. He's got some really cool stuff. And he's been showing me what he's gonna bring to the Redland show, I am so excited because I want one of those mugs that he's doing. <laughs> Commemorative mugs for the Redland show. And it's really beautiful. I'm collecting, I'm trying to collect them all. All right, so here I have featured these before. This is a Rach, Rachabui. Oh my God, it's so dark. You know, it looks dark when I film it, but then when I look at it back, I guess it adjusts for color and then it looks fine. But this is a Rachabui Askesend, I believe. Let me see if it... There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Rachabui Beauty. And it's almost on its way out. It's, it's already lost a couple of flowers. But, you know, these Vandas, they're from Bangyang. They last forever, these flowers. Once they come out, they're there for a while. If you guys go back on my videos, you're going to see. Now, check this one out. Can this flower get any bigger? <laughs> Look how gorgeous that is, guys. This one's the happiness. Let me see where she's at. Come here, happiness. Here we go. Vanda Adesak happiness. And it is happiness to look at this. It's just such a massive flower. And I always said, somebody needs to come up with a fragrant Vanda. <laughs> because if you have a flower this big, fragrant, it will it will be like your room your room fragrance. <laughs> now, this one I got at the Redland show last year in October. And this is the first time it blooms for me since I bought it. When I bought it, I already had a bloom, but this is the first time it gives me a shoot and boy is it a healthy shoot. I have Honestly, I've never owned or seen flowers this big. And in the camera, and the here on the camera doesn't give it justice. You should see it in person. It's just really, really massive. All right, guys. I think I've shown you everything that I wanted to show you as far as blooming in my greenhouse. All right. So I'm not gonna go in here, in my fern area, because if not, this is gonna be a very long video. So let's, let's go back to, and by the way, I, we had to put all our Vandas here, which I kind of like, <laughs> because we are taking down trees. Um, they're still working on it this week. We're not taking down trees, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to say that, I meant to say cutting them down. Because when you cut them down, um, they actually do better. We're not cutting them all down because we need some of the shade, but little by little, we're gonna trim them um, so they can uh, grow lower and we don't lose so many of the fruits. Plus, the main reason is when they're this tall, squirrels love it because they can do their, their nest up there, they're safe, and then they eat all your flowers and fruits. <laughs> I almost forgot. It's turning out to be a nice day. 
My Mokhara is back in action. This was another gift from Laz. And he gave me this at the Moats uh, 2019 Moats uh, Orchid Festival in Tam Miami. And it was a tiny, tiny little fly, uh, band. It was like, probably that was it. Now, it's giving me all that. And look at that. It, this is another super generous um, orchid. Now, you, you may see these little nicks on my leaves. You know what these nicks are? I had a hailstorm here and a tornado go through here, a water spout tornado. And surprisingly enough, it didn't kill my orchids, but it did do a little bit of leaf damage. But hey, it's very little for considering how bad it was. I have a video if you go back and you're gonna see I was stuck in my shack. I couldn't get out and this thing was just whizzing through here at 60 miles an hour with intense uh, hail. You see all those little dots on my Sansevera, my snake plant? That's from the hail. So it did cause leaf damage, but all in all, everything is safe. All right, guys, let's go back to my starting pole. <laughs> All right, that is it. I am melting. <laughs> it's really humid today, but it's it's starting to clear out, so that's nice. Even though I like kind of gray days sometimes because it cools down here, we need a little bit of, of lower temperatures. It just gets too, too hot. So I hope you enjoyed this segment of What's in Bloom and Greenhouse Update, which is going to be a new journey. <laughs> and I'm super excited because as you can see, my greenhouse is always changing because plants grow. I have to move things around. Some bloom, some stop blooming. So it's ever changing. It never, it's never going to be the same. And I've come to those terms. I used to think, oh, once it's all set, I can relax. And no, it's going to be always changing. <laughs> and, I, and it's actually part of the fun. <laughs> so anyways, if you haven't seen the previous video, please, I encourage you to, if you want to win that uh, quick tense greenhouse, uh, there's information on there, the rules to participate. I noticed that uh, a lot of people are very happy, um, eager to join. So thank you so much. Immediately, I have a large list <laughs> of people who want to join, who want to enter the contest and you're all doing wonderfully. You're following the instructions well. Uh, I saw that some of you kept on putting it on my comment section you kept on repeating it it doesn't matter how many times you repeat it i only need it one time because we're just going to enter it on a number and then we're do doing a google count it's not like buying tickets that the more tickets you buy the greater the chances are so if you put it 10 times i'm gonna delete them all and keep one because <laughs> it's confusing for me it's a lot of people now and I, and if you keep putting yours um i'm not gonna add them extra so anyways uh, follow the uh, rules. Uh, check our in my Instagram, Quick Tense Instagram. It's all in that video. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see who wins. Also, I believe I'm going to close off the giveaway. Um, I was going to do it in one week, but just to be fair, uh, some people don't get to my videos till like two weeks after I post them. Uh, so I'm going to give this two weeks. All right. I'm going to give it two weeks and I'm going to close it off in two weeks. So I would say mid-September, maybe a little bit before. I haven't gotten an exact date, but it'll be around that time. All right, guys. So thank you for sticking by. I hope you enjoyed this. I am Nelson. You're watching Nature Nell. And remember to always keep it green. See you next time and good luck.